this is the part of the game where puzzlers start getting difficult, so I thought I would do a quick explainer video. Once you get the door open using a lockpick or the lodestone or sheer physical strength, the puzzler starts in earnest, so that's where I'm going to start my tutorial. This is pretty convoluted, so I made a map and I'm going to have some visual aids. Also, there's two portraits of St. Paul, and to differentiate them, I am going to refer to the portrait of the conversion of St. Paul as Saul, which was his name at the time. The first clue is in the fireplace, which reads, Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. That would take us to the portrait of St. Paul, because he is a man holding a sword. It looks a lot like a cross, but no, it, it's a sword. Upon examining the painting, we find an inscription in the frame. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. And we also find the number 11 underlined twice. So we know it is St. Paul, and we know it is him speaking to pilgrims from Rome. So that would take us to the epistles of St. Paul specifically his epistles to the Romans. And to find the chapter and verse, we look to the 11, and because it was underlined twice, we use it two times. Chapter 11, verse 11. This is the foundation of the puzzle. Louis will also read the actual Bible verse each time, but they're irrelevant, they're red herrings. Once you open it to the correct page, you will find a note that reads, Dear E, I'm glad you found this note. I was afraid the code of two groups of pilgrims would mislead you. Pick up the package, you know where, and hide it where no one will ever find it. It's imperative. Awaiting your reply, hidden behind the youngest apostle. Now, if you didn't go to Sunday school, you may not remember that St. John was the youngest apostle. It's actually fine if you didn't know that, because there's a visual clue. St. John is the only saint who doesn't have a beard in his portrait, and no beard means young, I guess. Anyway, there's another inscription in the painting. On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. Referencing the note from before, the chapter and verse are going to be referred to as pilgrims. So when we add one to the left and three to the right, that gives us chapter 12, verse 14. Also, it says they're listening to the prophecy of the young apostle, St. John. And that would mean that it's located in the Epistles of St. John. When we turn to this page, we find another new note. I found the book in your effects. I've concealed it where no one can get their hands on it, I can assure you. Awaiting your instructions, I will hear your reply like he who hears the angel. Now this is pretty straightforward. Matthew was listening to an angel in his portrait. So let's inspect him. We find yet another note. This one saying, Half of each group will join the first city of Corinth. So we divide the numbers in two, getting us chapter 6, verse 7. And because it references Corinth, we know it's the epistle to the Corinthians. When we turn to that page, yet another message. It is of paramount importance that no one finds it. Watch out for the Prussian. He's on the trail. Let's meet up. I'll leave it to you to organize the rendezvous. Not today. I'm unable to do it. In the meantime, I'll follow the first group to Mark, who will reveal the answer to them. This time, they directly tell us which portrait to inspect, but they throw in a new wrinkle. I'll follow the first group. This means we discard the second number entirely. And when we investigate the portrait of St. Mark, uh, there's no engravings this time. Instead, you'll need to look at the chest of drawers in front of the portrait. There will be a carving in Hebrew that reads, Count the Dust. And when you follow its instructions, you will find eight tally marks. 
and that 8 will be the new verse number. The book isn't directly stated, but there is a clue. The language Hebrew. So it will be St. John's Epistles to the Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 8. And wouldn't you know it, yet another note. There are some complications. Indeed, the Prussian is insistent. What's happening at your end? Do you need help? If tonight is not possible, let's say tomorrow evening, in the south room where we reviewed the situation. When Paul understood that only the acts counted, he went back on his tracks. I await your confirmation to his left in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. Now there are two paintings of Paul to choose from, but we've already investigated one pretty thoroughly, so let's try the other, the Portrait of Saul. We can see a 4 written on the dust of the frame, so we add a 4 to the left number, and that gives us chapter 10, verse 8. And they mentioned Acts, so it's going to be in Acts of the Apostles. And the final note, we must leave urgently, but first I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare. Beyond the nightmare. Beyond the nightmare. Watch out for Volmer. He figured out I was avoiding him. Allay suspicion. See you tomorrow evening. Stand ready. For now. Let's cease all communication until we meet again. Take care of yourself. And that's the puzzle. It's long and there's a lot of steps, but if you're taking notes you should be able to work it out. There's more puzzles in this game that are even more complicated, but I'll explain them when I get there. So long.